Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Steam 2, The Gym Leader Castle. In the last episode, episode, we defeated the first gym leader, well, gym battle. And today we're taking on the second one. I'm sorry if I sound a little hesitant here. I'm doing this post-commentary. I don't like post-commentary. I don't like the sage either. I will calm my emotions and concentrate in due time. My problem here is, I had a well, somewhat successful recording of this, and then when I went ed to edit it, my sound kept buzzing a lot, and I'm not sure why I would do that. So I've been able to fix it. I hope I can fix it now. It doesn't have that buzzing here. So, I see this guy likes the word Sage a lot, because all this Pokemon ended in A-G-E. He's got Zubat, Sneechum, Ghastly, Golbat, Mischievous, and Haunter. So, yeah. I don't like this. Who did I choose? I don't quite remember. I believe I chose, like, uh... I chose Marowak. I think I chose, like, Marowak, Taurus, and Seedra. Or even Arcanine, we'll see. I don't remember, but... This is why I don't like post commentary because it sounds horrible. Okay. I don't know, maybe. So we got Taurus here first, versus... Golbat. So yeah, here's Golbat. Let's see, moveset of... I actually don't know. Toxic mean look wing attack and swift with the mean with the mean berry. Ah, mean berry, mid berry. Alright, so I think I start with yeah, a horn attack. I start with a horn attack. I do some good Here's damage the first move. That's it. I do some decent damage, but now much I want to do. Then he goes with toxic. And this is the where things get bad quickly. Yeah, he goes with toxic, and I'm like a hot battle is on You nut, I hate you. So I do the only move I can do is Horn Attack. I'm hoping to get like a critical hit, but I don't. So, but I do some good damage there. I'm getting hurt by this poison, I'm just like cursing poison, and what he does like, Well, you're poisoned, now I won't let you escape. So I'm just thinking, well I might as well just defeat you. I was planning on doing it in the first place, but now that we're just stuck here, I'll just do that. I'll just keep horn attacking you until you give up. A light pack. I still don't defeat this guy with the horn attacks. Like, this gold bag has so much defense. And it's crazy. So, he's just hopelessly wing attacking me. I'm gonna get annoyed right at him. I mean, this darn toxic. The white hot battle man. continues. I do defeat gold bag. With surprise, a horn attack. Horn attack! Right! That's my hit! Okay. I got a critical hit for some odd reason, I don't know why. So he switches out, and let's see, what was it again? I think it was, was it Switch? Oh, it's Haunter! No, it's Haunter. So he goes to the Haunter. And I'm like, well, I could switch out now. But I might as well stick in here. I go for a Pursue. What do do? It doesn't do much, uh -oh, was that Pokemon but it was a critical choice? hit, so I was actually surprised at that. I'm like, wow, that was amazing, Ta um, Taurus. I was going to taunt her. <laughs> but of course, Haunter's like, I'm going to follow what Ghastly did, and I'm going to use mean now. luck. So I'm just thinking, I don't really care. Hanging I'm not going to win Both this, get ready to go. but I'll just humor you with some more pursuits. Because it seems it fun. To be impervious to damage. I mean, I'm doing actually pretty Additional decent. Damage. Like, I think if I didn't have poison, I probably could have beaten Haunter. Then Haunter does this, so I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm poisoned, cursed. now I'm oh, cursed. No Why are you doing this? I will lose in like one turn anyway. There's no point one Pokemon remains. So I'm thinking, you just defeated yourself. And now we got oh, one Pokemon oh, left. I would have laughed as Taurus could have beaten Pokemon. the solution. Smoosum has Parasong, we look licking Blizzard, and Parallax here, Gary. So I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to, I'm done. I managed to just, just end it off with a horn attack. And I do a lot with that, I'm thinking, if that was a one-hit KO, <laughs> that would have been amazing. But it doesn't quite do it. 
Taurus goes down, I'm like sad, but I'm like Taurus did a really good job. He was cursed, poisoned, mean looked, oh, it's Arcanine. and pushed this guy to the limit. So I just decided to send out Arcanine to end this. The number of remaining Pokemon is two to one. So here I go for a, I believe, Flame Wheel. I would hope so. Oh, I end this wheel. very annoying. Yeah, this guy hit. Okay, so Smoochum is down. Last Pokemon goes down. Of course, and, and there goes I beat the, the Sage. And I'm like, yes, finally, I lost one, but I mean, I'm close to Morty. This is where Morty is. Morty. Uh, Morty. Not fun, not fun. He, he's apparently grateful for me defeating him. I don't see how that works. So then now we go up against Morty. And I am not looking forward to this. I was not looking forward to this at all. But, yes, he's talking about it's up to me to whether I believe Mystic Power exists or not. So I'm thinking, okay. Now I thought it was interesting that Morty is a ghost type gym leader and he has one ghost type. And Gengar, I'm like, why? Look at your Pokemon. If anything, you're just like, you're more like the last gym leader from Generation 2, Blue, who uses like any type of Pokemon he wants. So you've got a Gengar, Erido, Sudowoodo, Marowak, Girafferig, and a Knockdown. Um, I don't actually quite remember all of which, was, I believe I had Marowak in there. That's all I remember, really. <laughs> So I'm trying to still decide who else I should choose. I think I was like debating on like Umbreon and Seedra. I think that's what it is. I think it was Marowak, Umbreon, and Seedra. Come on. Come on past me. Yeah, Marowak, Seedra. I'm checking the moves now. And I believe I chose Umbreon because that made the most sense. Strafferig, not really. Here we are, the so yeah, here we are. Final battle. Yeah. And so, I'm sorry about that. I have to check something in my video here. So we have Marowak versus Gengar. I'm thinking this is the perfect battle. Marowak's a ground type, Gengar's a ghost poison type. So Gengar has the moveset of Shadow Ball, Psychic, Nightshade, and Fire Punch with a Bitter Berry. So I'm thinking, oh, that guy, this I'll use Bone Marowak. I don't have Bone Man, I have Bone move. Rush. He starts with a Psych. So I'm like, I hate you, Gengar. Because that does a lot. That's a decent amount of damage. And I respond with the Bone Rush. Wishing it was Bone Rush. It does okay damage. I did it three times and almost knocked this guy out. I'm thinking, Marek, you got this. You got this. We can do this. Keep going on with that Bone Rush. Then the and I'm hoping that doesn't have a critical hit. Doesn't have a critical hit, just barely hangs in there. So I go for one more bone rush. I hit him one hit, down. Because I think bone rank does the same, I believe like two or three hits, but it's much more powerful. So that's gas, that's um, Gengar down. Oh, Oh, I hate post commentary, but I gotta do it, man. I gotta do it. He sent out an Aridos. And I'm thinking, you, you should just be a poison type person because that's mostly what you have anyway. So Aridos um, has Sludge Bomb, Psychic, Dig, and Nightshade with the Burden Berry. So I'm trying to see what moves I have, what I can use. I don't really have anything for me that can work. So I believe I go Thrash. Yeah, I don't crash. Nothing else is going to work. So I see, let's see what much damage this can do. It doesn't do much, which I was disappointed. So in an air dose aside, it's just to end this with a nightshade. And, you know, Marek did really well, but he just was not prepared for that air dose. He's not prepared. So now I'm thinking, wait, did I bring out my fire type? Did I? No, I didn't. 
also am thinking, can you see where Super might be go. good? She just goes, has some good movesets, oh, um, or Umbreon, pretty defensive. I think I choose Seedra. I choose Seedra. Which is really good. Really good choice. So the best move I've got really is Surf. And luckily out, I have to speed this thing. So for a Surf, it does some good damage, actually. Really good damage. Almost knocks it out. Not quite. He goes for a Sludge Bomb, and guess what? It poisons me, of course, because he can do that. But I'm good enough here that I can just end this with another Surf. And so he only has one Pokemon left. And I'm not, I'm not terribly worried with Caesar even being poisoned because he's not Just toxic. One Pokemon so. Remains. so Eridos goes down. He's like, Arg, I'm angry. Oh, I'm this calm person, but I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get, him. I'm starting to get. Him. The white so he sends out Pseudo Hudo. I'm just laughing here because I'm like, you could have chosen an easier target. I may be poisoned, but you're going down. Sir. So, this is just me just talking about how that was the other. worst move he could ever make. Wow. And then I go for Surf and just end this. Pretty quick. I believe it's a one-hit KO. Wow. Is it? I think it was. And it was. Pseudo it. It goes down, and Morty, with nothing to say, gets defeated. I'm thinking this is finally we're done with Morty. Hey, this guy. He's not this bad in the game. Like the handheld game. So we defeat Morty. And he's just sitting there saying that he lost and he has to increase his training. So I'm like, okay, good for you, buddy. Good for you. So we cleared Ecritique City Gym. And with that, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Stadium 2. We'll take on Cian Woods, Jim Chuck. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I kind of did, except with the post commentary. So it's been me, the Nintendo Sony Man, signing off. And I'll see you guys hopefully with live commentary for Chuck. See you later.